In this video, we will continue the series for NestJS microservices by adding a cron job to synchronize the databases. So in the previous video, we had uh, a service that had a 10% chance of failure when creating comments from the comments microservice to the post microservice. And this will cause some missing information. Now in this video, we will add a cron job that uh, will synchronize both databases. So let's see how to do it. So I opened the projects. This is a post microservice and this is a comments microservice and this is a React app running. So in this video, we will add a cron job to synchronize the comments. For the moment, I will switch this uh, eight here with uh, five. So I will lower the chance uh, because uh, I want uh, to have less comments. So I will insert some comments now. So I inserted nine comments. I will refresh and we can see that only six of them are appearing here. So we are missing three comments. So I'll switch this back to an eight. And uh, now what do we do to have a cron job to synchronize these comments? So in SJS is really easy because we have task scheduling uh, in the techniques uh, tab here. We have uh, already a way to uh, run cron jobs. So in this section, we need to install these packages. So let's do it. Uh, we will do it in the post microservice. I'll open a new tab and uh, install this package and also this other one. And uh, then uh, we need to add this uh, schedule module for root. This is installed and I will add also the types. So they are all installed. Now in the post module here, we need to add this uh, schedule module for root. So I will add it here, schedule module for root. So we added the schedule module and now we need to create a service that uh, will have uh, this uh, decorator, the cron decorator. So let's do it now. I will create another service, nest generate service, and I will call it cron. And uh, this uh, will be added in the app module, and this will be created in, a, in another folder, but I will move this uh, cron service to the post folder. I will remove this. And uh, in the app module, we have this uh, cron service here, which I will remove it. And uh, I will add it to the post module. So we have a post service here and the cron service. So I want the schedule and the cron service inside the post module. Let's go to the cron service now. And uh, we need a function. Uh, and uh, this decorator. So let's do it. I will create a function uh, handle cron or I will call it sync comments. And uh, this uh, needs uh, the cron decorator. And inside I will put this value. So this will run every 45 seconds. And let's uh, import this value. So we created a cron and uh, let's see if uh, this works. Let's console log here, cron running. And uh, let's see if it runs. So I will switch this to a star here because this will run every second. So we can see cron is uh, running. So that's it basically. I'll switch it to 45. So it will run every 45 seconds. And now let's add the code that uh, will synchronize the comments uh, data with the post data. So to add that code, we need to connect also with the comments uh, database. So uh, first, in the constructor here, I will add private post service 
post service. So we need uh, to connect also with our post uh, database and to connect with uh, the comments database, I'll add here a variable connection, which is a type of connection from uh, type ORM. So you need to import connection from type ORM here. And to get the connection, we have to use this fu function create connection. We need to import it also from type ORM and we need to pass here the values. So just like we did with uh, this uh, uh, type ORM module here, I'll copy it and I'll paste it here. But uh, we will not synchronize, we will not load the entities and uh, this database will be the comments db, uh, comments ms, sorry. Uh, we also need a name here because uh, this will throw an error if uh, we try. So cannot create connection name default because we ha we already have a connection with the post service. So this needs another name. I'll call it comments db. So that is cleared. We don't have that error anymore, but uh, we cannot await here. So if we add this connection is equal to await this, we cannot do it since we are inside the constructor and uh, we cannot make this asynchronous. So the only way to do it is uh, by adding here a then and uh, we will get the connection here. And then this connection is equal to this connection here. So we create the connection with uh, the database and we will use it here. First, I will add an if condition. If this connection is set, because we are not uh, entirely sure that uh, uh, this uh, has been completed, so we need an if condition here. If the connection is set, then we will get the comments. So the comments, uh, we will query them uh, using the comments entity. So I'll copy this code and I'll paste it here on top. So we need some kind of entity because uh, there is no way to get the comments. So let's import the entity here and uh, let's get these uh, values but we will not export this class this class will be used only on this uh, cron service so we added this uh, entity we need uh, also to add uh, the entities here and the comments so when we create the connection we also want this connection to know about uh, the comments and our comments will be equal to await. So let's make this a synchronous. This is await this connection manager find all the comments. And here we will get the comments in another microservice. And uh, that's it. So we got the comments. Now let's get the posts. So posts is equal to await this post service, find all of them. And uh, all these posts will have comments. So let's make a for loop for let i is equal to zero, i is less than post length, i plus plus, and uh, we will get the post which is equal to post with this index, and uh, the post comments are equal to post comments like this. So we will get the comments that this post has, we'll get also the filtered comments 
So these are all the comments, but we want the comments only for this post uh, that we get here. So we have to use a comments filter. For each comment, we want the comment with the post ID that is equal to this post ID. So in theory, this should be equal, but in case if the post comments length are less than filtered comments that length which is uh, this case that we have in our app we have uh, six comments here but uh, actually there are nine then uh, we have to uh, save uh, these filtered comments to our database so the post comments are equal to the filtered comments and I will map them because uh, I don't want to store them with the uh, ID and the post ID. Each comment there I will store it as uh, an object with only text. Text is equal to c.text and that's it. In the end we will await this post service save this post and uh, we completed our cron job so we save this let's wait 45 seconds till uh, we see the comments that uh, cron is running and uh, let's see if uh, this uh, will be updated cron is running and i will refresh here we can see now we have all the comments so this code is working fine so this is how we run cron jobs and uh, this is how we synchronize data from two different microservices thank you for watching this video don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you